Hey guys, my name is Jonathan Mendoza. Today uh, I'm going to be showing you the uh, 2024 Grand Design Imagine XLS 22 MLE. This is one of their top selling uh, travel trailers for Grand Design. Let me show you a couple features. First thing you'll see, you're going to have a rock guard right here for your RV. Uh, you're going to have a dual uh, propane tanks right here on the front. And then we're going to move in here, something they just changed for this year. You're going to see uh, a more rugged uh, in, inside for your storage. Uh, this is going to help whenever you're on the road. It's going to stop things from sliding as much as they were sliding before. And then you're going to have an LED strip light in there to light everything up for you. Uh, but it's, it's amazing. Uh, people love it. Right here, you have your uh, magnetic locks very easily. Instead of having to try to clip things on and clip them off, it's just magnetic, so it makes it a lot easier for the user. Just looking at the top here, you got a very, very nice long awning with an LED strip light for the night to let you see the light, uh, see the stairs and everything. Uh, you do have the uh, fiberglass exterior with aluminum framing. Something that I like to point out that's first for this year on this model for Grand Design is you're gonna have ABS uh, braking system on the, uh, on the travel trailers now for uh, Grand Design. So, you know, it's going to make this much safer whenever you're pulling it uh, on the road. Another nice feature that they changed is they got rid of the bumper in the back. So, uh, you know, it used to just take up space. People used to mount things on it when they shouldn't be. So what Grand Design did, they took that off and they added a two inch uh, hitch right here so that way you can put things up in the back that uh you know i think it can hold up to 300 pounds so uh, it's very nice for people that they like to put like a generator or something like that back there so one of the things is this rv only has one slide and it's the big long slide here on the side and it makes everything so much bigger inside but yeah you follow me In here, you have all your connections for your water, your city water, uh, your outside hose, uh, your battery disconnect. And again, uh, they did add a, uh, a 40 amp uh, charger here, control charger for, uh, for your solar panels. Right now it has one solar panel up there, 165 watt, uh, but that's a 40 amps uh, controller charge is gonna let you add a lot more than that. All right, guys, so that's it for the outside. Those are the new features that Grand Design changed for the 2024. But let me show you the interior real quick. So first thing is just walking in. One of the really nice things I like about this RV is you have a little cubby hole in there. That is great for shoes. Instead of coming in here and getting the whole floor dirtied or wet, all you have to do is just throw your shoes in there and get them out of the way. So I'm going to point out, uh, you know, one of the nicest things that our uh, uh, Grand Design changed for this uh, model, they added LED strip lights on the ceilings instead of having those little bulb, bulb, bulb lights all the way across, which only gives you one light setting, right? But this is a little bit different. So if you come right here and you look where your control panel is, you're going to have uh, a little switch. You can turn them off completely or you can dim them depending on what kind of mood you're in as far as lighting. So it's it's super nice, especially when you're getting ready to just go to bed and you don't, you're not ready for it to be completely dark. You can change it and change the settings for yourself. Uh, but I love that feature. This here, you have your control panel, you know, for your awning, your slide. Uh, you got your, uh, you know, to check your tanks. They're low, empty, your black tank, your gray tank, all that stuff there. So it's really easy to use. The TV here, it's swivel, so you can pull it out. When you're sitting on the uh, recliners here or you're laying in bed, you can swivel this around to whatever uh, setting you want as well. So this RV slips four people. Uh, you can switch, you can turn this uh, dinette into uh, a bed if you have some guests over. Uh, but you do have a nice uh, 60 by 80 bed right here, which gives you plenty of room to, you know, uh, for two people to sleep in. Uh, you also have two cubby holes on each side. Uh, 
which has USB plugins, uh, regular wall plugins, in case if you have like a sleep, a sleep apnea machine or something like that, or just charge your phone. This is a great, great feature. Just look in here, you have a really nice blue reading light, or if you just wanna have a regular, a brighter light right there. Nice feature Grand Design put on here. One of the nice things I like about Grand Design is they'll find storage anywhere, right? So if you just look all the way, all the way around the bed, you have storage, you have storage up here, that side, and then on the sides here, you got a big uh, closet here, and you're gonna have that on each side, and big pull out, well not that big, but really nice size. But uh, like I said, Grand Design just finds storage everywhere. Another thing I like is they added a blackout feature, so they didn't add it, but it's it's really nice. If you don't want anybody to see, you got complete privacy in here. So you have the really nice theater seats as well. So basically they're recliners and you also have uh, USB plugins here to charge your phone. You have a heating uh, uh, option here and then you have a massaging option as well. So trust me, when you get in here and you sit on those chairs, you're not gonna wanna get up. So if we walk this way, you can see how roomy this is. Even with the slides closed, you'll still have plenty of room to walk through. All of this will be accessible. So if the slides closed, you'll still be able to open your fridge, your, uh, your, uh, uh, your freezer. You'll still be able to use your microwave, all that stuff. So you stop somewhere on the road and you wanna come get a quick bite to eat or something like that, you don't have to open the slide to access those. Uh, another nice feature is a corner kitchen here. I mean, you got plenty of space. You have plenty of space to put your coffee pot or anything like that. Uh, you also have this new little features here. Uh, basically what those are is you have a wireless charging port, you sit your phone there and it'll be charging or you can pop it up and you'll have plugins for USB plugins as well. But just looking around, like I said, storage everywhere. You got a really nice big uh, cabinet down here. Uh, so just looking in here again, a lot of storage, uh, very deep. Grand Design waste no uh, uh, no footage uh, goes to waste for Grand Design. If you look in here in the bathroom, you're gonna have a really nice uh, flush uh, food flush toilet here. You're gonna have a nice rack right above it to put your towels or anything like that with storage all the way around. Uh, you're gonna have a really nice. Uh, storage for your medicine or anything like that or whatever you keep in your bathroom another cool feature is this has a skylight still so basically if you're you know a tall person you're still going to be able to take a shower with ease without having to duck your head the whole time you're showering but overall i like this bathroom because it's just really roomy but yeah guys that's that's the uh the main features for the 22 MLE I uh, imagine for Grand Design. Uh, one last thing I wanted to point out, if you like playing cards or something like that, if you look right here, there's a mirror pointing uh, towards uh, the bed here. Uh, so if you know, you're know you playing on this side, make sure you're always on the opposite side of that mirror so you can check the other uh, the other person's cards and whatnot. I'm sure you'll, you'll make uh, quite a bit of money if you bet. Hey guys, again, my name is Jonathan Mendoza. I'm on McLean's RV in Rockwall. If you want to come see this RV in person, please see me. Please call the number below and I'll be glad to schedule you an appointment to show you whatever you want to look at. Thank you.